Hello, once glorious, massive, 100 yard long spilling way. Tyler, you think this is 100 yards wide? Yeah. yeah. 143. 143? According to Tyler, it's 143, but we got some big branches, we got some Tylers, and we got not a lot of water. Most of the time, this is underwater right here, and it, uh, it's dry ground, and yeah. When you drive a long way somewhere and it's this dry, it's generally speaking not a good thing, but we're gonna make the most of it, or try to at least, and stuff. Woo Tyler is back in town. Tyler made the drive from Texas to Nebraska, and he, uh, when he comes to town, all he cares about is flatheads, and I'm okay with that because I really like flatheads too. So uh, yeah, we tried another spot this morning. It sucked, we got zero bites. Oh well, August has been kind of tough, so I wasn't expecting a whole lot. And now that we pulled up here, I'm not really expecting a whole lot, but we do have live baits. We have two boxes of night crawlers. We have a decent amount of lures. I think I forgot. Forgot my square build box? I don't know, but I think we're gonna start by throwing some lures. Tyler's got a gigantic square bill on right now, and I'm gonna start with El Pequeño square bill and see if I can't get any gar or channels or hopefully not turtles maybe a flathead so come along with us see what we can catch stuff things Bye -bye. alrighty we're gonna start with some squaring bills and yeah we could throw out live baits in between or live baits first then work around them but I don't really want to work around them let's cover all the water we can with the square bills and break one of our only square bills we have by slamming it into the wall and that was something See if we can get some blue hair bites. Doesn't look great, but we might be able to figure something out. Got something flathead. I pretty I got a flathead. I got a flathead. Hammered it right by shore. Absolutely slammed it. No, but it slammed it and I got him. And it's a flathead on a square bill. No, but I saw him after I set the hook, I brought him up. Yeah, he's like a five pounder, but he hammered it. Hammered it, Tyler. Absolutely fucking rocked it. He's in something. No. Oh, oh, he grew up a little bit. Flat. Yeah, and he swallowed it. Good thing one of us br brought pliers. I don't know what happened to mine. I got a headache with my brother and the pliers got left behind and I just you want me to grab it? never put any more in. We're gonna have to figure out how to get this out of this dude is my main concern. I thought I saw the bait when I first saw him, but apparently I didn't because it looks choked. I like how dark he is. Yeah. He is so pretty. Oh, we should be able to get it. Oh, Watch your fingies. Yeah, that's what I was kind of worried about. Yeah. Dude just absolutely slammed it. Slam bonied Tyler. Not real fun when you pull up to a river spot and it's this low, but okay, less water, more fish, I suppose. I'm kind of worried how you're holding the line for so long. <laughs> It'll be all right though. It's 20 pound braid. That's one of the darkest flatheads I've ever seen. Yeah, the little ones here and just little, little ones in general can be like that. Have you ever caught like little five pounders? Yeah, I've got them with you. Have you? Mm -hmm. They weren't dark? Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it. Okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. Good save, Tyler. You want to get out of the camera? No, nope. we'll get him back quick because he swallowed it. Little fat dude. It's so pretty. On the square and bill, man. Nothing better. It hit it so hard. Where I've did it hit? Like right here? Yeah, pretty close. How awesome. 
Here we go. He gone. Nope, nope, he's still here. Yeah, he'll find a hole. <laughs> he you gonna him. go noodle him? He wedged himself in a rock. Yeah. And he's doing it again. Get back out there into the deeper water, even though there's not that much deeper water. That's awesome. You really don't have pliers either? Mm -hmm. We're both idiots, man. We do this for a job, Tyler, and we ain't got a pair of pliers. Whoa. Well, I'm glad I made the try. Just because of that? Just because of that. Yeah. In my opinion, there's nothing better than a flathead on a square bill. I'm not sure if we'll get another one, but that didn't take very long, eh? Got something. Oh! It ate it too. I, I think it was a gar. It was either a gar or a smaller flathead. A garp? <laughs> yeah, I suppose, Tyler. When they get trapped in these little puddles, they start inbreeding. What is that? Dang largemouth again. Tyler! Largemouth bass! What the hell? I mean, the rivers are connected to the lakes that connect to each other and then fish fish find their way into, into things and stuff, I suppose, but still kind of a weird thing to catch out of a big river like this with loads of flatheads and trash fish and regular river fish you know not super surprising because i caught one last time but those are the only two i've ever caught here or out of this river in general so still kind of surprising species number two and stuff Tyler, oh, I had a flathead and it broke off. It broke me off. I should have retied. Hammered it. Definitely a flathead, thousand percent. Right there. Oh, he broke it like nothing. Oh no. That had some weight to it, man. That had some weight to it. I don't know. It kind of felt like it was grinding on something and maybe I was pulling a little too hard. My drag's like not not tight. Probably should have retied and I think there was something funky down there. It was hitting, but he was just close. That poor thing's got a damn square bill in it now because it stayed on long enough that I definitely penetrated him. Really? Yeah. I don't even care about my square bill, but I care about him. No, it's not. All right, last square bill, and I guess I'll talk about it. I think the mini are the better for flatheads, spillways, honestly, anywhere. I've got some of my biggest square bill fish on just the micros i think it's a crush 25 x six cents fishing discount code stash they work i bet if i would have got that one in and he got it swallowed but it's not always the bigger the better in my opinion this little wiggler gets their attention enough what do you oh. got what up I had three square bills. You just got your allowance of one. No. Oh. You seen the big gar down here again yet? Holy shit, Tyler! That one's giant. That's the one I'm talking about, man. That was yeah. That's. Fifteen. I. At least 10, I would think. We might have to do some cut bait for him.
something. Another largey. Who'd have thunk? I'm working my way back to the truck because I think I might have square bills in my truck. Maybe one in the door, not like my actual square bill box, but like just a singular random one. And then I might have pliers, I hope. And there's definitely my personal best long nose gar in one of these pools that we're gonna maybe try to catch, but I don't know if I feel comfortable doing it without pliers, so. It's kind of quickly, quickly fishing all the pools on the way back to the truck before we get those and seeing if we can't uh, pick off anything. But apparently there's more than one largey. Might just be two, but there's definitely more than one. The big gar grabbed it. Oh, Tyler threw out some cup bait and the gar found it finally. Are you sure it's not the snapper? Where did you see a gar grab it? Seriously, just pulled it down and sat there? I got, I don't know. I got the pliers in my pocket though. He's still, yeah, he's not doing much, but he has it, huh? Well, I feel like chomping. Gar chomps or turtle chomps? It feels like gar chomps, but even again, nothing is moving, you know? What was that? <laughs> you think? Well, I think I'm going to pick. Are you ready? I'm ready. Turtle. Then you snagged me. Did I? Oh, don't rip Is it in you? Oh, oh I God. told you it's a turtle. I snagged you and you got the snapper. <laughs> oh, what a debacle. Is so, it illegal to catch me? No, I don't think so. You want to do a catching trick? Uh, I don't even know how to do that. Okay, well, we're gonna get the heck I don't know if you're gonna. I want no part in that. That critter's terrifying, Tyler. <laughs> Hold on, man. Fires, Tyler. Hold Save your on. fingers. Just pulled it down and sat there, huh? He even came up and looked at you. <laughs> Tyler, be careful. It looked like he done swallowed it. Is it the treble? I guess you're used to messing with scarier critters than that, huh? Actually, these are way more aggressive, Whoa, way more aggressive than the alligator snapper. Really? Alligator snappers are relatively calm compared to these guys. Holy shit, he got it like it's not even there anymore. Ain't no way you're getting that. Oh, get that thing away from me, Tyler. I hate those things. <laughs> Give me the one. Oh, look at him. He's smiling at me. You gotta help me, Josh. I, I don't want to. I don't do snappers. That thing's scary, man. The You gotta... You gotta hold the turtle. I don't want to touch that thing. I mean, you can cut it just an inch up with the pliers. It's got that little area on it. Okay. I have cut so many alligator snappers in Texas. This is the first one on video. I think it's a female. You can tell because the claws are huge. And that's how they dig their nest. They just those giant claws. What about its vent down there? Huh? Is that what it's called, a vent? Or is that just its butthole? <laughs> I need answers, Tyler. Well, now that you got... Hey, thanks for the help, Josh. I, hey, man, you're welcome. <laughs> now that you got him out of the way, the next bobber down should be a gar, huh? <laughs> Unless he's just really festive today. On the cut bait? Don't tell me it's another turtle, Tyler. Based on our turtle bites, I'd say not long. 
Is it a fish? No way! Flathead! On cut bait, huh? Nice. Good job, Tyler. Flathead number two. Been a while since I've updated you guys. Tyler caught a snapper and a soft shell. And yeah. I'm trying to get a gar on an inline spinner and it's not even working out. Nightcrawler's not working out. Live baits are out. And they're not really working out, but we'll keep grinding it out. Seriously? That was only in there for a little bit? Yeah, like 30 seconds. That's crazy. Anyway, we'll keep trying. Middle of the day can be tough. Square bill bites happen pretty quick and about all you can ask for. Anytime I can catch a flathead on a square bill, anything the rest of the day is a bonus. So we'll see what we can get as a bonus. And stuff. Tyler, how was it? You happy to be back in Nebraska? Okay, I mean, <laughs> like I said, my standards are pretty low for making a video, but it was fun. I mean, five turtles, multi, two flatheads. Multi-species turtle day. That's what everybody wants. That's kind of what people want to see on YouTube. Yeah, they're into the turtles. Not really, but yeah, it started out pretty strong. Two uh, flathead bites right away, a couple largemouth, and then no matter what we did, we couldn't really catch anything. Tyler caught a flathead on cut bait later in the day, but other than that, it was turtle, turtle, turtle. Snapping turtle. Snapping turtle was cool. That's the cool. soft shells. It's kind of embarrassing how you wouldn't go near it, but it's cool. I don't like snappers. I don't have enough experience with them, but threw every lure I could to try to catch a gar, and that didn't happen, which was surprising. And, and all the gar runs I had were actually turtles, but I thought they were gar for like an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? What day is it? Time to go. <laughs> it's time to go. Check out Tyler's well, channel. Oh, really? Feels like 9.30. <laughs> Feels like we've been out here way too long. <laughs> Check out Tyler's channel. See you later. Stuff things. Goodbye.